All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk about lesson 5.2. Okay, we're going to try this type of lesson, see if it works on this page. Um, and we're going to start with an example. So I have R equals 20Q minus point one point one q squared and c equals ten q and i'm going to be asked to find dr find find i think i had the erase on find dr over dc okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to find the implicit differentiation for each equation so how do i do that i am going to write dr for the left equation so whatever's on the left side goes on top and then whatever i have going throughout here so I have Q's going throughout, so that goes on the bottom. So I have dr over dq, and I take the implicit differentiation. So I have 20, and I don't need dr dq because I, or I took the derivative of Q, minus 2 comes down times 0.1, I get 0.2Q, and again, I took the derivative of Q. On the second one, I'm gonna get DC on top because it's on the left side. And I'm going to be taking the derivative of Q, which is what I'm taking throughout, so it goes on the bottom. Okay, and the derivative of 10Q is 10. Okay, but my whole goal here was to take the derivative are the implicit differentiations and find dr dc. Well, I have dr dq and dc dq, but I don't have dr dc. So I either need to multiply or I need to divide in order to find these. So first I like to check out if multiplication works. So dr dq times dc dq is not going to get me back up here at dr dc okay my dqs will not cancel out okay i would get dr times dc over dq squared so this one doesn't work so what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide so i get dr dq over dc dq okay and the reason why this one works is if I write it longhand, I'm going to put a division sign. And what happens is it looks like this when I flip the second one. I get dq over dc. Sorry, this is a times now. And the dqs multiply out and I get dr dc like I want it. So what I need to do here is substitute the equations. So I'm going to put 20 minus 0.2Q over 10. Let's see if I can go to the next page. New whiteboard, there we go. Okay. So I now I'm going to have, again, dr dq, this is how I like to write it, over dc dq. I get 20 minus 0.2q over 10. And if I were to simplify that out, it simplifies to 2 minus 0.02q. Okay, so this is just an example of how it all sets up. So what I want to do from here is I want to actually worry about plugging in numbers because the majority of your problems are we're going to plug in numbers. 
So I'm going to put a new whiteboard on. So let's do example 522. Okay, this one gives it in function notation r of q equals 30q minus 0.1q squared minus 0.001q cubed and dr dc when q equals 50. So we're going to do the same steps that we did in the first problem, um, but we're going to worry about plugging in q equals 50 at some point. So what I'm going to do here is the same first step. I'm going to do the implicit differentiation of both equations. So the top one gives me dr over I'm using the uh, the variable q throughout. So I get dr dq. And when I take the derivatives, I get 30 minus 0.2q minus 0.003q squared. And on the second one, I get dc over, again, dq goes throughout. And the 500 drops off, I get 10 minus 0.02q. Okay, so I have my two derivatives. So now I can either do the next step like I did in the first problem, or I can plug in q equals 50 for both of them, which will make it a little bit easier and a little less writing. So if I plug in Q equals 50 on DRDQ, I get 12.5. And if I plug it in for DCDQ, I get nine. So now I need to worry about, again, I'm looking for DRDC, okay? So we just did this one. So it's easy to realize that I need a division. So I need dr over dq, forgot my d, over, I must have tapped the eraser. Don't know what happened here, let's see. There we go, over dc dq. And now I get to plug in the numbers instead. So the number for dr dq is 12.5. The number I got for dc dq is nine. I type it into the calculator and I get 1.39. So your answers on web work are supposed to be decimals. Okay, so let's switch it up here again. So new whiteboard. And we're gonna go to number two. So the even problems from the book. So I get y equals x squared minus 3x plus 5, and z equals negative y plus 6. Find dz over dx when x equals 1. So same idea, okay? So new letters that we're not used to yet. So whatever goes on the left side here, again, this one goes on top. So I'm gonna get dy over, what am I writing through all the way through here? I'm getting x's. So dx equals 2x minus three and same thing over here. So I have a Z that's gonna go on top and a Y that goes on the bottom. Okay, so I get DZ over DY 
and I get negative one. Okay, so this time I want dz dx. So again, if I'm not sure, I like to start with the multiplication first. So let's check multiplication. dy over dx times dz over dy. It's either gonna be multiplication or division every time. This time my dy's would cancel out. So yes, I'm going to take the two implicit differentiations and multiply them together. So negative one times two x minus three, and I could have plugged in the one at some point, and it depends on when you wanna do it. So I forgot, I'm gonna get negative two x plus three, and now I'm gonna plug in this x equals one. So I get negative two times one plus three gives me a positive one. So plug it in up here or plug it in down at the bottom, either way. Okay, so let's do some derivatives that aren't the monomial rule and the sum difference rule. So we're gonna to go to number four. Y equals 200 times 1.08 to the X plus 500 times X. Z equals 2Y minus three. And DZ, DX, um, when, x equals three. All right, so the top one, I'm gonna get dy over dx. Remember my 200 is a scalar, it just stays out front. Natural log of 1.08 times 1.08 to the x plus 500. Let me squeeze that in there. Okay, the second one gives me dz over dy, and I get just the number two. And I need dz dx when x equals three, okay? So you might wanna plug that in first, it's a little easier. So let's put x equals three here. And when I plug x equals three in, I get rounded to two decimal places, 519.39. Okay, so let's figure out, am I multiplying or am I dividing? So again, I'm gonna write them side by side, dy dx times dz dy. And yes, the dy's cancel out. So I get dz dx. And so I'm going to multiply them. So two times 519.39 gives me 1,038.78. All right, one more. Number 10, y equals 500 times 0.96 to the x. dz dy, equals five, let me kind of make sure that's that separate. Let's fix that. There we go, dz dy. Um, and find dz dx when x equals four. Okay, so when you get to a couple of the later problems, especially in the classwork, they're going to only require you to do implicit differentiation on one of the two parts. So it kind of saves you time, which is nice. So the top one gives you dy over dx. And it's the same rule we just did on the last one, the 500 is a scalar, times the natural log, of 0.96 times 0.96 to the x 
And then again, we're just gonna copy down dz dy equals five. We're gonna plug x equals four into the top and it is approximately negative 17.34. And then again, are we going to multiply or divide to get dz dx? Okay, so you can again, either look at it or write it out. This one is a multiplication. So the dy's cancel. We're gonna multiply five times negative 17.34 and we get negative 86.68. Okay, so there are two problems on the web work that are going to be extra credit that I marked zero points on, but they're still there. And I will remind you during class on Friday what two problems those are, okay? So that you can try them if you want. If you don't wanna do them, then that's okay too. I want you to focus in on the last four problems and not the first problem. The first problem was an introduction. We wanna make sure that we get number answers for our problems.